Hey there, Matt Stinson with uh, Everyday MTV here, and I'm doing a little ride review today of uh, this bag right here. It's the Revelate Designs Mag Tank, and I'm going to be reviewing it. Uh, my use is maybe maybe a little bit different than what other people would be using it for, because I need to carry camera gear often with me in order to do reviews uh, for the site, and so I wanted a way that I could quickly hop off my bike, take photos of things without needing to um, take off a backpack, all that kind of thing. I usually ride with a pack still, uh, but what I'm using this for here, I'm using it as a camera bag. And the thing that I really love about this bag for using it as a camera bag is that it has this magnetic closure. There's no zippers on this. You just pull this up and it unclips, drop it in approximately in location and it's clipped in secure. And as you can see, I have this on a Kona Process 153, and um, it's been doing great. So I've had my camera in here, and it hasn't flown open while I'm riding at all, anything like that. It's been doing really well. So we're going to take it riding here on the Rat Trail system in Ridgeway, Colorado, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about it as we ride. All right, so as I mentioned, we're out here in Ridgeway riding the rat trail system and right now we're on a trail called double crosser which is kind of a connector trail but for cross country is riding all of these trails are really well made all right so let's talk for a second about how this is held on so there's two velcro straps on here there's one here that goes around your head tube and you do need to have enough spacer uh, size here so for instance on my wife's bike she has her stem slammed all the way down and so this kind of bag actually doesn't work very well on her bike because it kind of comes down around here which isn't nearly as secure so it just kind of turns around here and there's a little rubber bumper right there and then on the back you have this velcro here that wraps around and so this is another thing to think about here is the distance from here up to here uh, you need to have your junction of your two tubes here and before this velcro begins mine just works here on a size medium process 153 um, some bikes if they have a really long junction here you might run into trouble there so that's another thing to keep in mind with this pack uh, the sides are stiff so they have some uh, some reinforcement as does the bottom and you can probably kind of see inside there it has some different colors inside of there it comes in a few different colors so you can kind of match it to your bike as well so but that's how it attaches with those two velcro straps i would almost prefer it to be maybe a uh some kind of a a clasp instead that you can tighten down just because i'm worried about velcro wearing out over time but for for now it's been working great holds on really tight all right we're going to ride this next section of trail and I'm going to kind of have this mounted pointing down for you so you can kind of see how it rides next to my knees. I do rub my knees on it every once in a while. Just a bit. So that is a thing. But overall, I haven't found it bothersome. And my body probably has adapted a little bit to it as well. So yeah, I don't use this too much while riding actually. Because of the purpose that I'm using it for, I am carrying a camera in here. So operating the camera while riding is not ideal most of the time. But you can totally flip this open while you're riding then latch it back up so if you are using this for something like trail snacks something along those lines it works perfectly well for that kind of thing all right so let's talk for a second about what i carry in this bag so what i have in here is this little tiny tripod for just getting on the ground shots and then i have a panasonic lumix GX85. This is about as big of a camera as you can fit in here. 
if you're thinking about putting a camera in here, you can see I have more space this way, but with that collapsing lens on there, that's about all the space that I have. Now they do make a bigger mag tank, but that's gonna come out an angle here. And I've actually had that one as well, and it comes out too far for me. Um, so I end up banging my knees on it. And uh, I don't like that. So um, for me, this is as big as I wanna go. If you're riding less aggressively, or if you're uh, like bike packing, the bigger mag tank would be an option. I'm gonna take this through some kind of rough stuff here just to give you an idea what this bag can handle. corner all right so that's my quick uh, ride review of this Revelate bag um, if you're thinking about using it in a more traditional sense not as a camera bag and uh, head over to everydaymtv.com and check out my full write-up I'll pack some other stuff into it that kind of thing for that full write-up over at everydaymtv.com uh, like and subscribe I'll uh, I'll leave you with this view here